If you know your place values to the right of the decimal point, converting a decimal to a fraction is a matter of saying the decimal correctly. Notice in this first example, the four is in the tenths place value. So we would read this decimal as four tenths. So as a fraction, this is four over 10. Once the decimal is in fraction form, we do need to simplify. Notice that four and 10 do share a common factor of two. So we can divide both the numerator and denominator by two to simplify the fraction. So 0 0.4 as a fraction would be 2 fifths. Let's take a look at our second example. Here, notice the five is in the hundredths place value. So we would read this decimal as 35 hundredths. So in fraction form, it's 35 over 100. But this can also be simplified. 35 and 100 share a common factor of five. So in simplest form, this fraction would be 7 twentieths. Now there's also a shortcut method for determining the fraction form of a decimal. And here's what it is. Looking back at this first example, we can put the decimal in the numerator without the decimal point, so that would be four. And then the denominator is one, followed by the number of zeros that's the same as the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. So notice here we have one digit to the right of the decimal point, so we have one followed by one zero. Here we put 35 in the numerator without the decimal point, and then we had one followed by two zeros because we had two digits to the right of the decimal point. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. Using the shortcut, we would put 124 in the numerator, and then we'd have one followed by one, two, three, four zeros because there are four digits to the right of the decimal point. So one, two, three, four. So there's the decimal written in fraction form. But then again, just to double check this, looking at our place value chart, we have one, two, three, four digits to the right of the decimal point, which means this would be 124 ten thousandths. But now we do have to simplify this. So we want to simplify out any common factors between 124 and 10,000. And these do both share a common factor of at least four, so let's start there. One hundred twenty four divided by four would be thirty one, and ten thousand divided by four is two thousand five hundred. And thirty one is a prime number, so this fraction is in simplest form. Next, we'll take a look at how to convert a decimal into an improper fraction when the decimal is greater than one. I hope this was helpful.